In addition to the text for Luigi's that we're getting off the website, they gave us a Leave Behind card, which is a PDF format card, and it's got a logo on it. So let's open that up and see if we can use that to get the logo file. So I will uh, control click on this, open with Illustrator. It says it doesn't like the fonts that are here because, of course, my fonts don't match the fonts used when this was made. That's okay. And so we look at this a little tighter and we see that we do have a logo. And if we take a look at it in uh, outline mode, you can see that all of those parts on the logo are outlined. That means it's a vector logo. So we're, we are in luck. So what I can do here is first I'm going to save this as a separate file so I don't ruin the card. So we'll save it on the desktop. I'm going to call it Luigi Logo. Take the apostrophe out of a file name. That's a dangerous thing to have. I'm going to just save it as an Illustrator AI file. And here we go. I'm going to this, I'm working in 6 right now. I think I'll save it back to 5 just in case somebody needs it in 5. And there we go. So now this is the logo file. So all these other parts here are things I don't uh, really need. Now it looks like this might be grouped or something. So uh, let's see what we've got here. It's got a clipping mask. It's got a compound path. Let's release the clipping mask and see if that frees up some things. Okay, that is not part, that doesn't have the logo in it, so we'll delete that. Just kind of clean out this extra stuff here. And I'm going to keep going, hoping I don't blast the logo. There we go. Now, what's this? Is that part of the logo? That is, the logo is all part of that, so. I will um, take another look at my controls here. It's not grouped. It has a clipping mask. So if I release that clipping mask and then I deselect and check that again. Okay, that's a separate object. That was the clipping mask. And so it looks like I'm down to just the Luigi's. And I will go back here, Command Y. And there we are. So I'm pretty sure that I've got only the Luigi logo. I'm going to use my artboard tool and I'm just going to reduce the size of the artboard a bit. Um, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to select this and I'm just going to enlarge it a little bit here. So I'm going to make the file with um, doesn't really matter on a vector how it reproduces it's going to be perfectly clean and clear no matter what size it is. <clears throat> making this bigger on the file, the AI file, when you put it into something like InDesign, it will create a screen preview that's a little bit cleaner and bigger than if you have a really small file. So that's my um, my story, and I'm sticking to it. We look here and we see that we have, uh, see how swatches. We have a red color for this. Let's it's just for fun. We'll drag this over here. We'll take a look at this. It's an RGB mode red. I'm just going to call it Luigi Red. And then all of this I'll apply the red to oops, not to that. Undo. Apparently there's a inner shape there. Let's see if there's an inner shape here. Just for the sake of uh, in the future here, let me zoom in. This shape should be cutting out of this shape here. So we'll go back here to object, compound path, and make a compound path. And that way, if this logo has to go over a color, it won't have a big white chunk there. Okay, there we are. All of that red plus shift click on that. That red is now Luigi's red. I see I have the same problem with the L. Select that. Select the L. Object, 
compound path. There we are. And we do a save and we're in business. Talking about the legacy format, we're cool with that. And that is one way to get a nice vector shaped logo out of one of the company's PDF files. So when they say we don't have a logo file to give you, you can work around that.